Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how can we do data driven testing in our sample API testing project in Catalon Studio and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will see how can we use Excel or CSV files to get our data into our APIs. So let's get started and I will go to my Catalon Studio and I am using version 5.8.4 and here I already have created a project where I have some SOAP API so if I go to my object repository you can see there is a SOAP API to get currency so if I open this you can see this is a API request and this is the message and here we have to give the currency code uh, so for example IN is the currency code for India if I run this it will give me the currency of India that is rupees so I am sending the request now and you can see in the response I am getting the currency of India which is rupees similarly if I change this to US and run this it will give me the currency of United States so this is now sending the request and I am getting the currency dollars and then I also have a SOAP API for get capital and here again we have to give the country code and it gives us the capital of that country so for example if I say US and run this API it will give me the capital city of United States which is Washington and we can see this here so these are the two APIs I'm going to take as an example so what I'm going to do is the first thing is uh, in my API here instead of hard coding the value I am going to use a variable so I will refer this value from a variable so I will say dollar and in curly braces I will say uh, country code so I have given a variable here country code and I will define this variable in the variable section so I will click on this add button and I will say here country code which is the variable name and this is string and let me say this as a default value as in and if I run my request now it should run for the country code in which is the value for the variable country code and it should give me the currency of India which is rupees and this is working fine similarly I will go to get capital API and here again instead of hard coding the country code I will just use a variable again I will say dollar curly braces country code and in the variable section I will define this variable country code and let me make this uh, equal to VN so VN is the country code for Vietnam and let me try to run this now and this should give me the capital city for Vietnam let us just wait to verify and yes you can see we are getting the capital of Vietnam here so this is working fine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two API's into our test case so I can just go to I can create a new test case here and then I can add these API's or I can directly go to this plus button and click on this drop down and say add to new test case so I'm going to create a new test case and I will say data driven test demo and say ok and here you can see this has been added here and similarly I will go to get capital and again I will say here I will say add to existing test case so I want to add it to this data driven test demo and I will say ok and that's it so I think it got overlapped so let me just do it manually I will say add web service keyword get send request and I am going to use this one so I am using these two APIs however now in the test case what I am going to do is I am going to the variables section and I will create two variables here I will create country code and let me name this as uh, this is a string and let me give a default value as in and then again I will say capital and let me say capital is New Delhi and again I am creating another variable called currency and I will say currency is rupees so I have created three variables in the test in the variable section here now I will go back 
and I will go to the script view and here you can see in the script view we are getting the first API which is get capital and here you can see we also have this country code as a variable which is being taken as VN here however I am going to replace this VN with the country code or uh, which I have defined here in the variable so I will say country code so let me just save this once I save this it should come as auto completion and now if I press control spacebar you can see it is auto completed and this is the country code variable from the test case so here you can see this is the country code variable and similarly I will give this here as well so I am going to copy this and provide this here in the second API as well now this thing we have discussed in one of the earlier session as well how to give these dynamic values so you can see that although if you just go to the API and add the API from this plus button here these things the variables will automatically come here in the scripts so let me go back to my test case yes so here we are running these two requests however we are not yet verifying the response so in the first API which is get capital we should verify that the capital is what we expect and in the second API we should verify that the currency is what we expect so what I will do is I will store this in a response variable I will say response 1 and equals to this so whatever is the output will get stored in response 1 now this you can do from the manual mode as well so you can see response 1 has come here if I double click here I can say response 2 and for the second API the response will be stored in a variable called response 2 and if I go to script view you can see it has come here right now we have to give a verification statement so for that what we can do is I will go to get capital and here in the verifications you can see we have some verification snippets that you can use also for verifying a particular value what you can do is click on the in the response click on the value that you want to verify and press command plus k on your keyboard if you are on Mac and control plus k if you are on Windows and it will create this snippet verify element text which will take the response variable and then we have to give the X path or the location of the particular element and then the value so I am just going to copy this from here and go to my test and in the script view I am just going to add this here and in my case the variable is response 1 and here instead of hard coding the capital I have to take it from the test case variable so I will say this should be capital from the test case variables that we have defined here right and similarly I have to verify the currency in the second case so again I will go to get currency and I will be doing the same thing so in the response I will click on the value that I want to verify and press command K I am on Mac so I am pressing command K if you are on Windows you will press control K and you will get this snippet and just copy this just in case if you are not getting this make sure that you are using the right version of Catalon Studio so I will just copy this from here get currency go to my test case and I will add this snippet here and again here instead of hard coding rupees I am going to take it from the test case variable which is currency this one right so now we are running these two requests and the variables we are taking from the test case variables here so if I run this now and do not worry we have not yet used Excel so I will tell you what to do next I am just trying to validate if our test is running fine so let me run this and see what happens and if I go to the log viewer you can see our test is running and looks like everything is ok there is some problem uh, so here it says uh, there is a problem here let me go to the console and check the issue I will go to the console here and here so there is some problem
in the verify element text so I will go back to my test and look at it I'm going to the script view and here so looks like the first step was okay the first API was okay yes the first one was okay the verification was also successful and here also it is everything is okay but we are getting some problem here so what I will do is I will go back to my test and okay the problem is we had to use response to here so this was the mistake I have to use response to also what I will do is uh, just to print the variables I will just to check I am getting the right variables I will print I will say value of country code is and I am taking the country code variable again I will say println value of capital is and I will use the variable capital and I will again print out the currency as well so I will say println and I will say value of currency is and this is what I'm going to use and that's it so on the console I will get all this printed I will save this and run this again and let us see this time what happens so yes this is running fine until now and we still have some problem let me go to the console and check so here when we do print ln see we are getting value of country code is in which is correct value of capital is new delhi which is correct value of currency is it is taking it from util currency so i think when we give this variable currency it is uh, referring to the library so let me make it as currency one just for making sure it does not refer the library but our variable and here again i will say currency one and here as well currency one save this run this again so the log viewer and the console is very helpful whenever you face these kind of issues you can always add some print statements and check in the console what exactly you are getting and look see looks like this time everything is okay you can see everything is okay if I go to the console you can see the value of country code is IN capital is taken as New Delhi and currency is taken as rupees and all our test and verification is successful now we are done with all this uh, test case creation however we have yet not referred the values from a excel or a csv file we have referred it from the variables here so for that what we need to do is we will create a excel file so here i have a excel file you can create a new excel file so here i am going to add these values so let me just add here so i am going to add a country code and i am going to use in and i am going to use us and let us say vn for vietnam so in IN is a country code for India, US for United States and VN for Vietnam and then capital uh, I will check that capital for India is New Delhi, US is Washington and for Vietnam it's Hanoi and then I will also get the currency from here let me make the variable as currency one here and here it is rupees here it is dollars and here it should be dong which is the currency for vietnam so i have created a excel and i have given these three variables and values so i have given three values for each variable so our test should run three times and i will just save this and close this and now i will go back to my catalon studio and we have to go to the data files section do a right click here and then new and I will create a test data and here I will just name it as test data 1 and you can select any of the source excel file, csv file, database, internal data I will use an excel file and just in case you have any issues in data driven or uh, how to get a test data from excel I already have a separate video on that so you can watch that as well 
so this is excel i will say okay and here we have to browse our excel file that we just created so i will browse this and i have saved my excel on my desktop and this is the one test data dot xlsx and i will say open so you can see all the values have come here also because the very first row is a header so i will keep this checked in case you are you do not have a header you can uncheck this in that case the first row also will be taken as values but in our case the first row is the header or the variable names so i will keep it as it is and you can see everything is coming properly here and this is the only one sheet we have so it has already taken that so everything is fine here now what i will do is i will create a new test suite so i will go to test suites and i will do a right click i will create a new test suite and i will say data driven testing demo suite and here i am going to add the test case which is data driven test demo and say ok so you can see it has added here now i will click here show data bindings so as soon as i will click here you should see all these variables that we added in our test so these variables are coming from here if you go to your test and the go, go to variable section all these variables that we added are coming here and this should come here in case it is not coming you can check again you should add the variables in your test case and it should be displayed here now the first thing i will do is in the test data i will click add and this is the only single test data that i i have as of now so it is showing this so i am going to select this and say okay and here it is and now in the variable binding in the default value instead of this what i am going to do is so here instead of type default i am going to use as data column and for everything it is going to be data column and data column right and here test data you have to select the test data that you have already created for every variable or every row and the same thing i will do here and now here in the values if you click here it will show you the values in the drop down so you can select so i will select country code for this one and this is the capital so i will select capital now this is coming from your excel data right and currency one here so that's it and you can also set the iteration here so run for all rows or run for row number you can also specify some specific rows but i want to run for all rows so it will run three times with three different sets of data and everything is fine now and this is the default value if you want to keep it blank you can make it blank as well it is coming from your test data so everything is set up i will save this and now i am going to run this so i will say run and let us see what happens now so this is running our test we can also look at the log viewer so the test is started and you can see it is running our test for all the values that we have in our excel and now this is a data driven test and this is running fine so let me just check and you can see the very first time it took country code as in capital to new delhi and currency to rupees and it ran our test and did the verification and everything was okay for the second time it took country code as us capital as washington and currency as dollars and everything was okay and for the third run it took as the country as vn for vietnam capital hanoi and currency was set to dong and everything worked fine so this is how you can use uh, excel or csv or other data sources to do data driven testing for your apis in catalon studio i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching